I live, um, I've lived in San Miguel um, since 2014, and uh, I drive to and from work on Highway 28. So I always see these huge uh, pecans and uh, a lot of people working there, a lot of our people working there, and a lot of my neighbors are actually, uh, have been in San Miguel for mm -hmm. their entire lives. So um, in talking to one of my neighbors one day, she began to tell me about these communities that were there because Dr. Araujo is from the area and I live in the house that belonged to the Arvendaris family, it made sense to collect those um, histories that hadn't been shared before. I grew up in Stallman and um, I've always wanted to interview the people from Stallman and I um, had uh, initially been interested in doing my dissertation when I got my PhD on the interviews uh, you know, with Stallman, and um, my dad still worked there at the time, so I saw it as a conflict of interest, so I never really pursued it, but I was so glad when Judy, the Dr. Carmona, Flores Carmona, um, started to talk to us about the Oral Histories Project, and, and, and I got really, really excited, so I, I am just, I'm learning so much, even though I grew up there. <laughs> it's important because the politics of eraser is really strong in this area. We tend to uh, uh, only remember certain parts of history and most of the time those histories are not Chicano histories from the board. This oral history project really is about uh, unerasing some of the history, if not all of the history that's been in this area. And this deals with the workers of Stallman Farms, this deals with the struggles of Stallman Farms, it also deals with a legacy. Uh, the pictures that I have today deal with already three generations it happened because these people, from their own veracity, from their own vitalness, created their own uh, lives. This has just opened my eyes to so many uh, different things about um, our region and the community, you know, very, very close to where I live and, uh, and about a part of our community history that I otherwise would not have um, even known was as, as rich as it is and as nuanced. I, I had driven through there many, 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 many times on the way to Mesilla or, or to the little country store. And so it, it piqued my interest because I wanted to learn a little bit more. I had never seen anything beyond the trees. Uh, and so when I started learning that there were a lot of communities in there, it, it, I just, and then a couple of the professors who actually lived there who were, who were part of that, um, then I think uh, I started to feel more of a, I don't know if it's a, like an emotional attachment to it because I, I, I was more and more curious. And then the, the other thing I learned is just working really as a team with wonderful professors that uh, I've learned to really appreciate and my, my respect has grown a lot for them too. Eye on Research is a production of New Mexico State University.